Jody from Clutter Free Classroom. You can find me online at cfclassroom.com and today I want to share with you my math workshop rotation board. I used to teach math in just you know your traditional whole group manner. Um, however, I had so much success using my hybrid of Daily Five, Fountas Pinnell, etc. Um, reading workshop that I designed my math block to also run as a workshop and it has worked out fantastic for me. So this is the board I used to manage it and I just wanted to take some time to walk you through it. This is the board that explains to the kids where they're going to be going. The title at the top just says math workshop that's available in my math workshop packet. All, all these printables are actually. I used a Cricut to design the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and those represent the teams that I have for math. So I break my class down into four groups, and we have four rotations, first, second, third, and fourth. Sometimes I do all four rotations in one day. Sometimes I do one and two on a Monday, three and four on a Tuesday, and then, you know, same for Wednesday, Thursday, really just depending on what I'm teaching at the time. The rotations are uh, math facts, at your seat, you can just see them going down on the left, teacher's choice and hands-on. And I actually spelled them out so that it spells math, um, M-A-T-H, and that just kind of helps them remember which way they're rotating in addition to that, plus it's cute and clever. So, um, so I have the cards that represent where they're going. So for example, group one for their first rotation will go to math facts, second rotation they'll go to their seat work, third rotation they go to teacher's choice, and fourth rotation would be hands-on. And typically, um, math facts is just fact practice with any of the computation, whether it be addition, subtraction, multiplication. We get into division a little bit in third grade. At your seat, I use the pages from our math series. We use investigations, and I've been able to take the curriculum that we have and fit it into this approach very nicely. Teacher's choice, typically that means that they're working with me. However, I used to just have it say teacher, and I found that some days I really need to kind of assist in another area. So I do have a little flexibility there. And then hands-on tends to be either manipulatives or games, so they have their teams, they find out which team they're on. Down below I've listed team one, team two, team three, and team four. And the way I um, did this, I just used a little bit of scrapbook paper just to kind of make it fancy, but I type up their names and it's on a, just a regular slip of paper. I just print it out every time I want to change them, it's simple. Slides right under the paper clip and I have some groups of four, some groups of six. Within the group, I cluster their name next to another person. That is their partner that they work with. So if it's a partner activity, um, or even if they're just pairing up to work on some of the activity pages from the curriculum, that's the partner that they work with. If it's a whole team working together, whether it be a game or whatnot, um, then it just shows them either the four or six that they're with. So they know who they're traveling with, they know where they're traveling to, can tell pretty easy just by looking at the board, and they just go through that way. Um, over to the right, again, I have header cards, which again are also included within my packet that's available in my store um, for each of the areas. I used to actually type up the activities that they were going to be doing within each of the centers and fill them into the pockets, or put them into the pockets rather. But what I found was, and I think this is just absolutely genius, and I hate that it took me this long to figure it out, but this is the pocket chart. If you leave just the white in, you can take a dry erase marker and just write directly onto the plastic what you want them to work on, and then it just wipes clean. Isn't that genius? So um, each day I write down what it is they're going to be working on in each of the centers so that they know what they're going to do and where they're going to be doing it at. I'm probably going to stop this here and I'll put together another little video to show you how I manage the materials and what some of the centers look like. Thanks for taking uh, the time to check it out.